Well, it's really interesting to see that Dreamina has had an upgrade. So they have added the very best new AI image generation model called C-Dream 4. And if we take a look at the text to image leaderboard here, you can see that it ranks even above Nano Banana from Google. So it's the top one, Bike Dance Seed, you can see just there. So I am really excited to give it a try and create some AI posters. We're gonna merge images together and we're gonna give this software a real good go to see how good is its actual images that it generates. And there's a link underneath this video if you want to go and try it out as well. So here we are then in Dreamina. And at the top, you can see we've got our area here to go and upload any images that we want to use as reference images. And then next up, we've got image 4.0. That's the one that we want to test out for this video. You can see we've got Nano Banana down there as well, but it makes sense to use the best, which is this one here. Then we can choose the aspect ratio of any image that we create create. So brilliant if you're producing posters or anything like that, you can pick the right uh, aspect ratio. Then if you want to, you can literally produce any of the artwork you want in 4K. So real, real high quality if you need to do that. I'll just use 2K for the purpose of this video. Oh, and by the way, you can also add text to any image that you upload as well. And we can tell it exactly what we want to happen with our prompt. But I'm going to go and take some images here. I'll, I'll show you them all in just a moment. But they're a combination of images. There is one there um, of some trousers, another one there of like a, a t-shirt with a tie, then some shoes, then a hat, and then this girl here who is currently wearing a pink dress. And in fact, I think I'm going to get it up for you so you can really see them in full screen. Let's get it up here, move it across because it, it's quite crazy what this is doing. And I can see why this is going to be so good for the fashion industry. So here's the girl just here. There you go. That's how she's going to start off. But we are going to do some pretty clever stuff here with Dreamina and we're going to give her a change of costume. So all I need to do to do that is just go into the prompt area. I can type out a prompt. I'm just going to use voice to do it and then let it do its magic. I'd like you to take all of the clothes that we have provided in the images and get the girl in the pink dress to change from wearing that pink dress to the provided clothes. Done. So now we press go and then let uh, Dreamina do its magic and take a little look. And there we are. That took probably about a minute at most. And we've got these really good quality images. She's totally changed. She's in the same scene, but now she's, she's wearing the hat and she's got her top. There are other versions of it as well. This one's a bit of a sort of crazy look with the old covering of the eyes. And then this one is, is having the hat kind of tilted back a bit more. So you've got three different versions there that you can work with. So this is going to be brilliant. If if you are in the fashion industry or trying to sell clothes online, how cool to be able to just generate your own model for a start. So anybody you want, you know, any kind of model design, your black hair, white hair, whatever you want. And then to be able to just add your clothing designs just from photos straight onto that model and then use that on your e-commerce website, for example, or for posters. This is just going to be fantastic. And then from here as well now, we've got lots of other options down the bottom right. We can go and retouch so we can go in and delete certain aspects of the image. We can do in painting. We can uh, remove anything, just literally wipe it out. Or we can upscale the image, which is going to be really useful. As I say, if you want to blow this image up and use it, I mean, even on a billboard, you can upscale the image. And then um, we can edit in the canvas there as well. So you're not just now given that image and that's it, tough. You better like it at the end. You can um, make changes to it and even reiterate as well. But also just here, you can see it says generate video and then you can literally have this girl like walk around and show you the clothes off so why don't we give that a try so all i need to do is put in a simple prompt i've put uh, get the girl to put her hands on her hips in a model pose and smile at the camera a little five second video and then we've got the first image which is this one and then i grabbed one of the other images for the last image and then it will do the little bit of uh, animation um, and realistic animation at that in between so we'll press go and then let's see how it well it does that for us. And here we are, it's all done for us. So let's give it a little play. So she puts her hands straight on her hips like that and a classic model pose. Perfect. Five second video has just brought those clothes to life. And you can even see how the jeans are kind of swaying slightly um, because they are big and flappy. So it's done a really good job of um, kind of making that come to life, that image. Now, the only thing it didn't do there, I did ask her to smile, but I don't think she had enough time to smile because it was only a five second video. And the starting image was her very serious. And so was the ending image. So that's probably why she didn't just burst into smile 
smile because it would have looked really stupid. Uh, yeah, literally going from like moody to smiley to moody again. But really love it. And then once you've done the video, you can just download it and then obviously you can use it for whatever you want. So that is a combination of reference images making this girl go from wearing a dress to these clothes and then now putting her into a little video like that, which has all been done in Dreamina. Fantastic. So for my next trick, I am going to show you how you can use pose references. So what does that mean? Well, we can upload some images and then upload a particular pose that we would like Dreamina to create using those images. So first of all, then, if I go to my desktop here, I've got uh, three images. The first one is of this lady here. The second one is of this gentleman here sat on a bike. And this is the pose I would like them to do. I've done it as kind of a line drawing, so it's really nice and easy. I want them both sat on a bench together doing a selfie. So let's just put them all in as reference images and then we'll just put in exactly what we want. I'm going to use image uh, four again and then this time I'm going to do it in a nice square format like for Instagram or something and then we'll just put in this simple prompt. I'd like you to combine the two people in the photos provided and then put them into the same pose you see in the line drawing, sat on a bench together in a realistic photo. That's it. Let's send that prompt on its way and see what happens. And there we are. It's done it. Check out these images here. And again, we can adjust them, but it's done exactly what I wanted. It's put them on a bench together in that exact pose. There's another version just there and another version just there. This one didn't have a background, but I actually really quite like this last one there. And if we take a look at my line drawing again and we can put it right up against it like that. Look at that. So we've got the girl. So it recognized the fact that this was a girl holding the camera like that, the phone. We're on a bench. Perfect. And then you've got the guy looking over in the exact same direction. So this is such a cool feature. I love it. And now don't forget that you've also got all of these tools down here as well. So you can expand it. For example, you can make the picture wider if you want to put it in a different aspect ratio and we can upscale it and even add text to it as well. Well, so really, really clever feature, this pose reference feature. So now one of the other strengths of Dreamina is to create really good commercial grade quality posters. So I have gone and gotten my own little protein powder here. here. Let's just grab the picture so you can see it. Protein power. And I want to create a poster for that to advertise it. So let's try and do that with Dreamina. We're going to open it up, add it in there. And if I wanted to, I could upload like a gym scene or something and use that as a reference for it to be in that picture or I can just describe it I want and have Dreamina do it. Um, image I'm going to use obviously the Sea Dream uh, 4.0 version and then I'm going to go today Ultra 4K just here and then aspect ratio of 3 by 4. So there we are now I want to um, put in the prompt first of all so I'll put I would like you to make an advertising poster for this protein powder maybe you could set it sat on top of a gym bench in a gym and then I would like you to add the text on the poster in highlighted font and then what we do now because we want to add some text to that poster is just down here you can see it says draw text on the image well I will just literally paste in this train hard recover strong and then that should be it and obviously you can go really detailed to these prompts I'm doing very simple ones um, but if you've got some real specific needs you can go to town on this if you want to and put in a really big prompt so with that let's just see um, how well it can produce a commercial grade poster in in ultra 4k and off we go so here we are we've got our protein power it's come to life and I can see straight away it's followed my prompt really well because it's put it on top of a gym bench in a gym and then we've got the train hard recover strong we've got full stops at the end of the text exactly like I said let's have a look at this one here this this gone for a little bit of a different design kind of glowy text down the bottom there I like that and then train hard recover strong and a different angle and then a different kind of font down the bottom there and remember you can just use all the tools again to in paint this to get rid of anything but out of all of them I actually think I really like this one because you've got like this barbell in the distance there and it kind of looks like it's either side of the protein power box so I really like that one there and as I say that is in real high quality you can see just at the top right here and we can just download that now and start using it for all kinds of different things I really like this C dream upgraded 4.0 image generation which as you saw on the charts there it seems to be top uh, above even nano banana and also 
also cheaper to use in Dreamina than Nano Banana, by the way. So if you wanted to get started, you can try it out for free underneath this video. And then actually you get free credits put into your account. I think it's every day that you are logging in. So that's really useful too. But that is it for this video. You have now learned how to master using this software to create some incredible images, reference images, poses, and also posters as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next AI related video in just a moment.